After closing their branches across Indiana for nearly three months, the BMV reopened its doors today, and it was marked with some very long lines of people waiting to renew their driver's licenses or register new cars. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is live tonight in Evansville with more for us. Mike? They're probably to broadside the uh, Evansville North Branch just off the of Highway 41 where, uh, where the line here outside the building wraps around the corner and it goes uh, down the sidewalk here. And uh, this is a similar site all morning in Evansville, Princeton, and other parts of the Tri-State and other parts of Indiana as some drivers waited several hours to get things done that had to wait for several months. They arrived by car or motorcycle, most of them waiting on foot. Could be easier, but it could be worse. The line could be a lot longer. A few sitting their weight out. Well, I've already driven by twice today and noticed there was quite a line. So when I came back the third time, I decided I better bring a chair. Many waited several hours after a three-month wait. Three hours. Three hours waiting outside for the most, of the most of the time with my two young children. This was the first day many drivers could renew licenses, plates, or register new vehicles in person since branches closed on March 23rd. Inside, chairs were spaced out and workers wore masks and encouraged customers to do the same. I'm just glad that I can finally get in without an appointment. The Princeton branch is just small and because of all the regulations and restrictions, they just can't bring very many people in. BMV Commissioner Peter Lacey says they restarted in-person service due to high demand for online appointments. We just could not create enough supply of appointments so that people were not booking out two or three weeks in advance and were able to help many more customers in a walk-in environment than when we were in an appointment-only environment. BMV officials expect high demand at branches the next several days, but penalties for expired licenses or permits won't restart until July 1st when Governor Holcomb's executive order expires. Now, people are also encouraged to use the BMV's uh, online services or kiosk. Uh, but those choosing to use the walk-in services uh, should be expecting long lines, and uh, many should be expecting to be waiting outside. And that's why uh, Commissioner Lacey is encouraging people to do such things as uh, br bringing a chair and also bringing some water as well while they wait. Live in Evansville, my picket Eyewitness News.